In the previous video, I told you about the idea of Kansen and how the first and second world, not the second world, no, no one knows yet how it works. We will get to that later on. Um, how the first world, you know what, actually I didn't tell you anything about <laughs> about the first world either. In You know, it's not because I was lazy when I was recording the video, but because I was lazy when I wrote the story, which means <laughs> which means the first world is not well structured, not for a lack of um, government rules or something, but because the creator of the world, aka me, was um, not bothered to build a decent world. But to be fair, the first world structure doesn't make much sense and we will get into uh, into more detail now. But because I wanted to rush to <laughs> building the second world, because the second world is where the real fantasy and real magic happens. And that's where the cool idea I mentioned in a previous video lie. I think, as I said, uh, some some stuff in the second world are pretty cool, and I really look forward to go through them. They're, they're not they're, they're the only not bad thing <laughs> in the story, I guess. Um, and yes, I would really like to get to that soon but first we have to get to know the main characters and the world they live in so let's go straight to the point the first world as i've mentioned a few minutes ago doesn't make sense mm, because i didn't care for it to make sense so the first world is very similar to our world. It's structured in a similar way. It's I would say the year it's kind of our twenty first century. It's uh, it has it's not as technologically advanced as it is maybe now in twenty twenty one. I don't think computers and phones are really a thing. I mean, I think phones, yes, but something more like Nokia 3310, not, uh, I don't know, iPhone 10. Um, but still, I would say the setting is similar to our early 2000 or something. I have a thing for, <laughs> for early 2000s, I suppose. As I've explained in, uh, in a previous video, there is the first world and the second world. Which <laughs> you will see throughout the story that everything and everyone has weird ass names, but I've decided to call these things first and second world. Go figure. Uh, but by the way, I think I should have somewhere the map. <laughs> yes, <laughs> there's a map. <laughs> the map of the first world. It's divided by countries, I suppose. All they had weird ass names. If I find it, I will, I will share it with you. I will post it on on Patreon um, for free so that everyone can see it. Um, but if you're already there, consider supporting me. <laughs> okay, add moment over. If I find it, I will post it as well. I also will post a recent um, drawing, a, a recent sketch of of the main characters, because a while back I was thinking, you know. I really miss those, no, okay, I don't really miss them, but <laughs> I haven't drawn them in quite some time, and I would like to see how they would look with my improved style and all, so I did a sketch of them. I will I will post that on Patreon as well, if you want to see them. Um, anyway, now, in the previous video, I mentioned how Council have to go to from the first world to the second world. To and, and and I mentioned the first world 
it's a single continent surrounded by ocean and then there's this mist around the planet that it's supposed to be the second world but how does one physically get to the second world basically on the west side of the continent there's a bridge I don't remember if it's always been there or if people built it I suppose it's gonna be explained in the story and if it won't then <laughs> I guess it's not important <laughs> as many things aren't in the story um, so yes that's that's the it's I wouldn't say it's maybe maybe it is the only way to go there again this I am pretty sure it's not mentioned in the story whether it is the only way to get there or not I think that's the un I, I, I don't think that's mentioned but right now let's say that is the only way to get to the second world I don't th I don't know if you would be able to just you know grab a boat or something and try to access it from the other side I suppose someone tried to do it throughout the centuries who knows because uh, 2015 year old me 2015 year old me no <laughs> 2015 me wasn't bothered enough to go in depth <laughs> on that aspect anyway so this is bridge um, I don't know I, I suppose I really felt the need to tell you that <clears throat> now we will get to um, how society kind of sort of is structured in the first world basically cancer for some reason mo most people hate them and it's never explained why exactly people hate cancer uh, or at least like the governments and such they don't help or support Janssen they just pretend they don't exist or something so for example if if two people become cancer there is not uh, considering the, the time and age that this the story is set in so it's not in the middle ages that you know it, it could be complicated for example to communicate uh, between a country and another no that's not the case it's a uh, rather advanced society I would say so society would have the means to for example build a network in which in, in which counseling can, can find themselves and uh, try to find each other more easily so that they would have also more time to spend with, with, with the family instead of being around the world looking for the other person Th this thing doesn't exist in <laughs> This thing doesn't exist in the first world, and there is no reason why this thing doesn't exist in the first world. And you will be thinking, oh wow, so okay, the government knows a lot of stuff, and they don't want to help Kansan because uh, uh, they want to keep uh, their own secrets away from the public. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> that is not the case at all. There is not even some mystery around it. <laughs> Literally, governments don't give a shit about cancer. If they find out that there are some, I don't know, research labs or something trying to uh, discover more about cancer or the second world, they will dismantle them or something. They will, I don't know, kill everyone that tries to... No, I don't think they do kill people that try to investigate cancer, but they... They will get in their in their way, and as I said, it's not because they are hiding something, but because I don't know. Because I, I needed, <laughs> I needed, I needed it to be difficult for characters to find each other. Which, by the way, won't be difficult because <laughs> I'm, I'm already telling you, it's it's not gonna be difficult. <laughs> Anyway, so you can already see <laughs> a very clear lacking of 
understanding of how to build <laughs> a credible society. I like it how I wanted to build some mystery around the whole thing, but I had no idea how to do that. <laughs> anyway, um, okay. Uh, I'm saying enough with the first world, not because I want to cut it short, but because there's literally nothing more to say about it. <laughs> um, so let's get, let's get to the characters. So maybe... I don't know, I can save myself with that. As I mentioned, two people at once become Kansen. Which, by the way, it's not a very current phenomena in the first world. I think also, um, it's it's a, 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 I, I don't know exactly how many people live in the first world, but I would say, I don't know. <laughs> Not 7 billion. I think 7 billion is way too much. I would say maybe 1 billion people or something. I don't know. Um, I, I know it's not as populated as our planet. But it's also not, you know, a half a million people or something. I, I think at least a billion people. And becoming cancer is not... A, I don't think it's a daily occurrence. Again, it's not. It's not told in the story. This is my. This is me speculating about my own story. I don't think it's a daily occurrence. So it's not rare, but it's not as frequent as. It's it's not a very frequent thing. But anyway, it's um it's always two people becoming Kansen. Obviously one single person cannot become a Kansen. It has to be two people. But, because because my main characters are special, they're not, they're not gonna connect with two people, but with three. Da -da -da. Okay, so the main characters are Marika Valkovic. I think that's how you pronounce it. <laughs> <laughs> she is, uh, I think she's 29, if I remember correctly. Mm, only time will tell. But she, she's, she's the oldest. She has purple hair, bright green eyes, and she is some sort of assassin or something. She works for an organization. Um, <laughs> sorry, I'm, I'm laughing because I've, <laughs> I've just remembered how the organization is called, but <laughs> we will get to that as, 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 an, as another, uh, at another time. Uh, she, she's an assassin. She goes around killing people um, and she, she's trying to, she, she works for this organization that tries to understand more about cancer and how it works, what it means, blah, blah, blah. So she, she is going against the government that doesn't want to do anything about cancer, I guess. So she's a rebel or something. She's a badass or stuff like that. Anyway, Marika. Then we have Kirian Dunn. I think that's how you pronounce it. <laughs> I don't even know how to pronounce the names of my own characters. Anyway, Kirian, he's 21. And he has long dark hair, blue eyes. And uh, this is a self-insert because... This is not a self-insert, but uh, anyway. Uh, Kirian, he works as a socks designer. And that, and that is because, I don't know if you know it, I, I don't see why you should. But I am... Um, not a socks designer, unfortunately, but I am very passionate about socks. I have a rather large collection of socks. You're welcome. Um, and he's like super rich and super famous. Um, that's that, I guess. Then we have uh, Manhattan Bloom. Manhattan Bloom, he is uh, 16. 
I think. Uh, he's blonde with brown eyes. He is just like a normal kid, I guess. He lives with his mom in a in a small town. He actually lives in the town that hosts the bridge that gets to the second world. So yes, these are the main characters, which is fun. It's it's interesting. I don't think I did this on purpose, but all the three names have something in common. So we have Marika, Manhattan, and Kirian. So Marika and Manhattan both start with Ma, and both Manhattan and Kirian ends in A N. So. <laughs> I, 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 I don't think I did it on purpose. But if I did, then um, I don't know, well done, I guess. So now that I have introduced you to Cancer, now that I've introduced you to the nonsense of the first world, and now that you also know who the main characters are, I say let's dive into reading some parts of chapter zero. So, chapter zero. As I've mentioned in a previous video, it's a, it's a chapter introducing the concept of cancer and also introducing the characters. Um, and it also introduces the fact that the story is not set at a specific time. Uh, because, for example, we have three different flashbacks in the first, in, in chapter zero. And these flashbacks introduced the characters and introduced how they found out about Kjansen. And these chapters, uh, sorry, the, um, these flashbacks are dated, uh, for example, the first one is dated 10th July of 69. So it's not known whether it's 1969, 2069 or whatever. So we already set into the, that kind of... Um, that kind of... I don't know what I was saying. <laughs> we start off with a dark room. A dark room in which Marika and her friend Lullaby are sitting in. They are sitting at the table and in front of them there's this man called Igor. And he's basically asking them what they know about cancer and they tell them what they know about cancer. So Another thing I mentioned in a previous video is how the one of the two people gets the name of the other person. It it appears as a as a um, as a marking as a tattoo on their arm, and that uh, will help them find the other one. But the other one doesn't get the name yet. They will get it only when the two of them will meet. Which, by the way. Also, this thing is never really explained, and my assumption is that this was yet another attempt on my part to make the finding of the 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 other cancer more difficult. But as I said, it's not going to be difficult at all. So let's go on. So Igor and is is explaining some cancer related stuff to Marika and uh, Lullaby, and he's mentioning how the other person doesn't get the name yet, but they they have to know that the connection happened, and how do they know? Igor enlightens us with with um with this sentence: <clears throat> the other doesn't get the name, but feels that a connection has been made. The overall reaction is a sense of loss and confusion, but without worry or fear at the same time. Lullaby says, Sounds confusing and weird to me. Igor. Well, Kjansen is a bit of a weird thing, after all. Okay. <laughs> then we are introduced to Manhattan how he finds out about Kansen. He's a kid, um, I don't know, eight or something. And he is going back home, I think. He, he lives, he lives, as I said, uh, near the bridge, so his town um, is close to the ocean. 
So it's going. I don't, I don't know what I'm just why I felt the need to tell you this. <laughs> so he's going back home. By going back home, he passes by the house of his teacher, Mrs. Coy. I wonder if Mrs. Coy actually has a name, or if of Mrs. Coy is just like if she has a first name. Of if 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 Mrs. Coy is is the only way we will ever know her. Uh, throughout the story. I don't know. I don't know why I've, I've questioned this just now. Anyway, he's going home. He sees the house of his teacher, Mrs. Coy. Mrs. Coy, she's outside the house with uh, another woman. We later find out that's her sister. And her sister is showing Mrs. Coy the name on her arm. Mrs. Coy and, um, and, her, and his sister, and her sister, notice Manhattan has seen them and the sister gets scared and Mrs. Coy uh, tries to comfort her she tells her to, to go inside and she will talk to Manhattan so Manhattan has no idea of what Gunson is he has no idea what's going on um, but he asks questions and Mrs. Coy explains to him the concept of Gansan and how it's and how the first world doesn't like how the first world hates it. So obviously, because the first world hates Gansan, they try to leave the population ignorant about it. So they don't. They never talk about it. They don't explain it. Like they don't teach it in schools or something. But let us, Mrs. Coy, explain this to us. Mrs. Coy says, <laughs> "Sorry, <laughs> this is just one of the names that exist." In a place called the First World, Unahal is not very cancer friendly, and I think they're doing wrong. I'm sorry you found out about it this way. All we have about cancer are mere theories. Some say it's the end of the world, others think the sacrifices for the gods, or something silly like that. It's hard, really, because cancer doesn't leave any trace behind and so nothing to work on. I heard of some tribes in the East who worship it and would do anything to be chosen. Which, by the way, I think it's kind of easy to be chosen. You just plan it with your friend or something. So maybe there are many cancer. <laughs> and what I told you at the beginning is just nonsense. I don't know. This this is another thing that... I mean, Mrs. Coy says this, but it's never expanded upon. So... It's just words left floating about and never get picked up again. But she continues um, saying that uh, my aunt used to work at a bridge, the one to get to the second world. Uh, she used to work at a bridge and met many council. While bringing them to the border, she would talk to them and eventually she told me all she knew. People in our village kept saying she was a weird lady for being interested in such things. But she couldn't help it but find it fascinating. I agree. I mean, I also don't get it why people <laughs> would think she's a weird lady or why they hate Kansan. Mrs. Coy, I'm with you. Then it's it's a back and forth between flashbacks of different characters. So now we are introduced to the character of Kirian. Um, Kirian is with uh, Julian. <laughs> For some reason, I really like the name Julian, and I've named a shitload of characters Julian in my stories. This is another Julian. So we have Kirian and Julian. Um, Julian is Kirian's boyfriend, and I think they are home or something, and they're just talking. So Kirian, uh, sorry, uh, Julian, he, from what I have read in these few pages um, Julian he's a he's a student at uni <laughs> he will never tell us what he's studying exactly <laughs> but for some reason he's studying counseling maybe maybe he's gonna be a doctor or something I don't know but he's studying counseling in uni for some reason and we'll never know what um, 
I, I don't think it's spe it's his specialization or maybe it is I don't know it doesn't it doesn't matter if you are wondering what Julian studies at uni don't because you won't find answers so Julian have just told uh, Kitty and that counseling cannot uh, sorry um, people like normal people cannot go to the second world because if they do they they, they die, or at least this is what the people from the first world speculate. Um, and see, and he says uh, because human beings, because uh, because Gideon asks why people cannot go to the second world unless they become cancer. He says because human beings cannot survive there. Apparently, the environment is too different, and a person would die in about ten seconds. It's it's never explained how this information got to Julian <laughs> why they're teaching him this stuff <laughs> apparently the environment is too different what what does that mean <laughs> in what way it's different <laughs> I don't know Julian doesn't want to tell us <laughs> um, then we have some foreshadowing here there's this conversation between Kirian and Julian Kirian says so Kansom they can't come back here can they and Julian replies I don't know if they can't or they don't want to but no one has ever come back from the second world and it can happen to anyone yep and Kidian thinks I hope it never happens to me da 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 I have bad news for you Kidian then we go back to Mrs. Koi and Manhattan and Mrs. Koi expresses my thoughts here um, she's being a bit long-winded but <laughs> for the sake of <laughs> <laughs> Long explanations in fantasy stories. Mrs. Koi tells us that for many people in countries, it's a taboo subject. Kansen, obviously, is. And they don't want to hear anything concerning Kansen. Anyone who's even a tiny bit involved with it is cursed and other stupid things of the sort. That's really unnecessary. But it's getting better. You know, Kansen has started to be taught in schools and eventually the world will recognize that it's part of us too and there's no reason to discriminate against it. My thoughts exactly, Mrs. Koi. I couldn't agree more. And then the chapter ends with another foreshadowing of Marika uh, asking Igor, has it ever happened that more than two people get connected? Igor thinks about it and replies, it has never happened before. It's not impossible, but it'd be quite a unique. Oh, but it'd be <laughs> sorry. <laughs> it's not impossible, but it'd be a unique case. Come on, let's go. And they leave the room and go wherever they have to go to do some crimes and stuff. So there you go. This was chapter zero of Mere Chance. But if you like it, if you want to support the series you can you can share the videos you can i don't know i don't know what what do people on youtube say <laughs> in any way you feel like supporting my work i really appreciate it so thank you again for having watched the video for having listened to the story i hope you enjoyed it i hope you're interested to know more about it i really look forward to tell you more um next time <laughs> let's see because uh, from what i remember the first three chapters are a closer look at the three main characters and i think sorry i'm scrolling through jesus how long is this ah okay so every chapter will be in the final days or hours or moments that will lead up to the connection. So at, at the end of every of these three first chapters, we will see how the connection takes place for each, each of them. So again, thank you for having watched the video. Thank you for having listened to me. I hope you enjoyed the story. I hope you will keep on enjoying the story. If you want to support me in any way, Mm, all the links are in the description. Thank you. Until next time. Ciao!